In this video, I will walk you through what you will need to do throughout the first week of our fully online intermediate algebra course. The first week of any online course is typically one of the busiest because in addition to starting to learn some math material, a student has to spend some time getting familiar with the structure of the course and with expectations. Throughout the first week of our course, I encourage you to set several hours each and every day to work on our course. As you set some good habits, learning will be easier for the rest of the semester and you will feel more comfortable with what needs to be done to be successful. Here I am on the home page of our Canvas course. Canvas is our online learning management system at Lake Sumter State College and to reach Canvas, you can go to the Lake Sumter State College website, log in to your My LSSC account and then use the navigation at the top left, which looks like three horizontal line segments, to go to Canvas. You can also come to Canvas by typing in lssc.instructure.com. You can see that at the top part of the URL here in this bar. You don't have to type in anything after that because it'll take you to the login screen. So lssc.instructure.com is a shortcut to get to Canvas. We will be using a secondary system called My Math Lab where the math content will reside. My Math Lab is where students will complete most of their assignments, their quizzes, and their tests for our course. Canvas and my Math Lab work together, and in fact, one of the things you'll do during the first day of class is to link Canvas to my Math Lab. My Math Lab also will give you electronic access to our textbook so that you will not need to purchase a printed textbook. There is a cost involved to using my Math Lab, and you will have the option to purchase your my Math Lab access by using the link in this Canvas course. There's a lot of information, and I won't include it all in this video. I encourage you to go through each and every link on the home page of our course, spend several hours within the first day or two to become familiar with everything that you need to know to get off on the right foot. I will walk you through some important things though because there are several things that you'll need to do throughout that first week. First, this video will be housed here under this link so that you can pause, rewind, rewatch anything that you've forgotten or that you need to review. So that's one of the advantages of using video. Secondly, please watch the video called Expectations, which identifies what I expect of my students and what my students can expect of me as their instructor. Next, I've posted a video talking about how to use my math lab. It does come with a lot of really good resources, so I want to make sure that you're using my math lab not only to complete your assignments, but also as an additional learning tool. Many times students take a math class not really knowing if that's the right math class to take. So I've posted a document called Are You on the Right Math Path, which I encourage you to review because there are other options than intermediate algebra. If you have any questions, please reach out to your academic advisor or myself. I'm happy to answer questions about whether this is the right course for you. Next is the Getting Started link, and this is where I'm going to spend the bulk of our minutes together in this video. The Getting Started link is going to outline what you need to do throughout that first week of our course. Next is the course calendar, which you will print and keep handy somewhere where you have access to view it on a daily basis, because this will help you stay on track in our course. This course calendar is going to outline all of the important due dates as well as our test dates. Next, you have a link for my instructor information, which includes the link to talk to me through Zoom. So please click on that link, and any time that we schedule a time to talk to each other through Zoom, that is the link that you will use. 
Next you have information about how to link Canvas to my Math Lab. This is a one-time um, scenario. Once you link Canvas to my Math Lab, you can go directly to the My Lab and Mastering link to access my Math Lab. So you'll only have to follow that procedure once to do the pairing or the connecting between the two systems. Next, some of you may choose to take your proctored tests at home. We do have testing centers at the Leesburg and the South Lake campuses, as well as the Sumter campus, for students to take their tests in person, and that is preferred. We do prefer that you come to campus to take your tests. However, if you are not in the area or your schedule does not allow you to come on campus, we do have a backup system for you to take your tests at home through a system called ProctorU. ProctorU is a little bit more difficult to use because it does require the use of an external webcam, not the camera that comes in your laptop or computer. It must be external, so it must be something that connects to your computer through a USB port. And there are also additional steps to you setting up a ProctorU account and scheduling your tests in advance. Um, so I do encourage you, if possible, to use the testing centers at our campuses, but use ProctorU as a backup. There is a training module for ProctorU for those of you who absolutely have to go that route. We do have a Math Emporium that is available to you either in person or virtually. The Math Emporium is where we house all of our math tutors for this course. Our math tutors will be available to assist you with learning the content, going through questions that you're struggling with, and basically providing the academic support for you to learn math. The Math Emporium has limited hours in the summer. They are available Monday through Thursday from 7.30 in the morning to 8.30 in the evening. They are available both in person and through Zoom. And below is the Zoom link if you choose that virtual option. You also will have some support links down below. Um, there's a lot of technology involved in taking an online course, and we don't want that technology to distract you from learning the content. Now let's go in and explore that getting started link where everything that you need to do throughout that first week is summarized for you. First and foremost, I want you to spend some time looking at our syllabus. The Concourse Syllabus link is here on the left-hand menu. The syllabus in a college course is the document that outlines all of the policies for the course. It is basically the contract between instructor and student, and any concerns, any disagreements, any questions usually are answered by referring to the syllabus for the course. It's really important that you spend some time going through the syllabus because you will have a quiz related to syllabus content and that will be due Tuesday of the first week of our course. The link to that syllabus quiz is right here. You just click on it. Um, it is not graded in the sense that it will not count towards your course grade. However, it is a requirement for you to continue working in the course. Next, you're going to complete a check-in with the Virtual Math Emporium using the Zoom link provided in the document that I am hovering over right here through this link. The Virtual Math Emporium check-in should take you no more than about 5 to 10 minutes, and there are specific hours that they're available for you to do this. Those hours are included right here in this document. There are available hours Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of the first week of class. However, I am asking that you complete this check-in by Tuesday. Let's leave the later dates available for students who are joining our class late. Next, you're going to complete a diagnostic pretest in my Math Lab. You will need to pair Canvas with my Math Lab first, and you will need to take that pretest by Tuesday as well. 
The purpose of the pretest is to help you determine what skills gaps you're bringing into the course and then spend some time reviewing that content so that we have a nice firm foundation to build on. You will be able to start working in my math lab on day one, whether or not you have purchased the access code or not, because all students have a free 14 day access to my math lab. Following the instructions on the main Canvas webpage, you will be able to start working in my math lab right away. After taking the diagnostic pretest, you will upload your written work into Canvas assignments. I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about this. The diagnostic pretest is not proctored, so you can do that at any time, Monday or Tuesday of the first week of class. But you will be writing down some work. Um, and even if you don't write down some work, we want you to practice scanning and uploading your written work because you'll have to do this for future tests. Once you finish the diagnostic pretest, you're going to go here to Canvas. Uh, to the assignments link and you're going to look for written work for tests and right here where it says diagnostic pretest work paper submission you're going to scan your work using either a cell phone or a computer scanner and you're going to upload upload the file um, to me uh, this time it's only for practice, um, but in the future this is a requirement for all of your tests in order for you to receive credit for your tests. So again, I want you to practice how to scan and upload your, t your work for that diagnostic pretest. All right, let's go back to getting started. After you finish the diagnostic pretest and you um, have uploaded your work, you will have two personalized homework assignments in my math lab. And this is what will help you fill in those skills gaps that you're bringing in to the course. These two assignments will be due by Wednesday of the first week of class. Now, because I've talked a little bit about my math lab, I just want to pop in and show you what that looks like. Once you've completed the pairing, the connecting of Canvas to my math lab, you'll be able to click here on this yellow link and it will take you to our my math lab course. I'm in instructor mode so this is going to look a little different than yours, but if you go to diagnostic and review here on the left hand menu You'll see the link for the diagnostic pretest, and then you'll also see the link for the two personalized homework assignments. These are what you will complete here in my math lab in order to get those assignments done. Now, that is what you need to do to get started with our course. We haven't actually talked about new content yet, but we will starting here with item number five. Our course is divided up into five modules and you will have a test at the end of each module. Each module will cover several sections in our textbook and there will be homework sections associated with those sections as well as quizzes. The instructional part of the sections must come first. Please do not jump to trying to complete homework assignments when you have not received adequate instruction first. So how do we do that? We have two sets of video lectures for each and every section. The first set of video lectures will be housed in Canvas and I'll show you that shortly. Those video lectures have to be watched beginning to end and as you watch those videos you're going to be filling out lecture notes that will be printed from Canvas. The lecture notes match directly with those lecture videos so you're basically filling in the blanks as you watch the videos. 
These lecture notes will be due sporadically throughout the semester every couple of days, and you will scan and upload those lecture notes via Canvas assignments. The first of those will be due the Friday of the first week of class for sections 2.3, 2.4, and 2.5. Let me take a moment to show you where these video lectures are located and where you can find the lecture notes. If we go back to the home page of Canvas, if you click on Module 1, you'll see that you have a link for the lecture notes, which is a PDF document. You will click on that and print those. And then right underneath are the links to the videos that correspond to those lecture notes. So again, for Friday of the first week of class, you're going to watch the first three videos and you're going to fill in the lecture notes that correspond to those three sections. These videos were all recorded by one of my colleagues at the college, Professor Sestarsik. Um, but they are going to correspond directly with those lecture notes. Again, you will upload those lecture notes after you have scanned them here under Assignments. You'll see here where it says Lecture Notes. You'll be able to click on the assignment, and then you'll be able to upload the assignment here in order for me to grade it. Next, you're going to watch some additional instructional videos. These will be housed in my math lab. So as you work through the first homework assignment, you will see some video links in my math lab. And as you watch those videos, there will be a separate document that you will be filling out called the video organizer. The video organizer is different from the lecture notes. Some of you may have bought the video organizer pages from our bookstore. If not, you can also print them from Canvas. So you have two sets of videos and two sets of documents to fill out. Let me show you where to find those additional videos and where to find the video organizer. So I'm going to go back to my math lab and I'm going to pretend that I'm working on the first homework section on section 2.3. I can click here on Module 1, and if I go to Section 2.3 Homework and click on that, so I see here in the 2.3 Homework that there are several video links for the videos that I need to watch, and as I watch these videos, I'm going to be completing the Video Organizer, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. But note that if I try to work on the homework problems themselves, nothing happens. That's because you cannot work on your homework assignments until you watch those additional lecture videos. So let's go back and show you where that video organizer is located that corresponds to this second set of videos. So going back to our Canvas course, Let's go back to the Module 1 button, and you see here that there's a file called Module 1 Video Organizer. This is a separate PDF file that you can print unless you have purchased the Video Organizer from the bookstore. And just as you did with the lecture notes, you're going to complete the Video Organizer as you watch the lecture videos in my math lab. Unlike the lecture notes that are due every couple days, the video organizer is only due once per module shortly before you take your module test. You will upload those pages into your Canvas assignments as you have done with your lecture notes. It's just going to be in a different spot. So you'll see here where it says video organizer, you're going to submit your video organizer as one document at the end of module one. Okay, so now that we've gone through how to view your video lectures and complete your lecture notes, how to view the additional instructional videos and complete your video organizer, let's talk about working through your homework and your quizzes. You will have several quizzes in my math lab, usually covering about three to five sections each. 
Each quiz has two attempts, meaning you can take the quiz and regardless of your score, you can repeat the quiz. It will give you slightly different problems, but the same type of problems. My Math Lab is programmed to keep the higher of your two quiz attempt scores. So there's no risk in taking the second attempt, even if you're happy with the first attempt. I strongly encourage students to take their first quiz well in advance of its due date so that you have a chance to review what you missed, maybe go back and spend some additional time with that material, and then go back better prepared to use the second attempt. Your first quiz in my math lab will be due Friday of the first week of class covering sections 2.3, 2.4, and 2.5. Please note that this quiz will only become available to you once you have worked through the three homework assignments that feed into that quiz. And you must do that with a 70% or better. I have posted a separate video on how to use my math lab and how to use the tools to improve your score until you have a 70% or better, or ideally up to 100%. We will be taking our tests either at the Lake Sumter State College Testing Center at one of them or using ProctorU. Regardless of whether you're taking your tests in person or online, you will need to make advanced testing appointments. There is a very important page called Online Testing here in our Canvas course that you will need to make sure that you go through very carefully. I'm going to ask that you make all of your testing appointments for the entire course in advance and to submit confirmation of your testing appointments by Saturday of the first week of class. Let's go back and look at our homepage of our Canvas course and you'll see that online testing tab. This will give you all of the information you need for setting up your testing appointments. In fact, I have recorded a video on how to make your in-person testing appointment for an LSSC testing center, as well as a separate video on how to make your testing appointments if you're using ProctorU. In your assignments, you will see that there is an assignment called Testing Appointment Confirmations, and this will be due Saturday of your first week of class. I have included a form that you will print out and you will write in all of your confirmed appointment information so that I know in advance when and where you will be taking each of your five module tests as well as your final exam. You will have two days to take each test. The first day will be open only for ProctorU, and the second testing day will be open only for in-person tests. There will be three different testing appointments available if you test in person. And let me see why this is not opening. Here we go and you're going to complete this form to let me know whether you're taking the test on the first day using ProctorU. If so, tell me what time your appointment is or whether you're using the testing center at Leesburg or Southlake and which of the three appointment times you have been confirmed for. So again, I have done this in advance for all five module tests as well as for the final exam. If you're using the Sumter Testing Center, just make that as a separate note. All right, let's take a look at the remainder of this. We're almost at the end, I promise. This first week is busy and it can be a little overwhelming. The purpose of this video is to help you through it, not to add to your stress, I promise. By Sunday of that first week of class, you will have some additional sections to work through. By now, you'll be more comfortable watching the video lectures and filling out your lecture notes, watching the videos in my math lab and filling out your video organizer, and doing your second quiz in my math lab by Sunday night as well. Our first module test will be Sunday and Monday at the end of that first week of class. So it goes very, very quickly. Sunday will be only for ProctorU.
That means that you're taking it online at home. And Monday will be for students who are taking the test in person at one of the college testing centers. So please, please take the time to do as much as possible early on so that you feel comfortable with the course and you get off on the right foot. I know that there is a lot involved and it may sound very overwhelming, but I promise that if you set aside the time to go through the steps that I have outlined, you will have great um, support and that you will likely find success. I look forward to working with you. Welcome to Lake Sumter State College if this is your first time with us and welcome back if you have been with us before. I look forward to getting started with you when we start class.